Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Since a minute guidance was released by the Department of Defense, the Military Accession Vital to the National Interest, or MAVNI, program has essentially been on hold. Here to share more details is Margaret Stock, author of Immigration Law and the Military. Margaret, thanks for joining me. What changes have occurred in the MAVNI program? The MAVNI program started in 2008 under the Bush administration, and it's gone through several evolutions, but it's basically gone from being a program that allowed thousands of immigrants to contribute their skills to the national defense to being a dysfunctional program that's essentially now shut down. Uh, right now, you cannot get into the military through the MAVNI program. Uh, and this is depriving our nation of the talents of folks like the Soldier of the Year for 2012, Saral Shretha. He was an immigrant from Nepal and got his citizenship through military service, became the Soldier of the Year. We also had um, Paul Chalimo, who got a uh, silver medal for the United States in Rio. He was one of the MAVNIs who came into the program uh, through, through MAVNI, got his citizenship through military service. Folks like that can no longer join the military. What impact have the new DOD rules had? Well, as I said, the program is essentially shut down. Uh, the new rules by DOD came out last fall, and they were ordered by Acting Under Secretary of Defense Peter Levine. He was an Obama appointee. He essentially ordered a lot more security checks on everybody who came into the military through the MAVNI program. Now, it sounds good to have security checks on people, and there previously had been a lot of security checks on all the MAVNIs, but he ordered a set of security checks that cannot be done under the current manpower that they have to do the security checks. He also ordered retroactive security screening on all of the people who are in the MAVNI program. So anybody who joined the military through the MAVNI program is now being subjected to retroactive, rigorous security screening. And it's being done by people who aren't trained very well. So we're seeing a lot of people failing the screening, uh, for example, because they have a foreign relative. Uh, now, of course, immigrants joining the military are going to have foreign relatives, but under the new security screening that they're being subjected to, they're getting discharged from the military if they have certain foreign relatives. Um, and this isn't really fair, but this is a result of the new screening that's been put in place by Mr. Levine. There's a lot of problems with the program right now. You can't get in for one thing anymore, but the people who are already in the military through the program are having lots of trouble and they're being discriminated against. So some of them have filed a lawsuit. It's called Tiwari versus Mattis, and it's in the Western District of Washington. And they're filed, they filed the lawsuit because they're now U.S. citizens, but they're facing severe discrimination and the end of their military careers due to the new orders that came out of the Department of Defense last fall. We're also seeing dramatic slowdowns in the processing of military naturalization cases. The most recent receipts coming out of the Nebraska Service Center state that people are going to wait more than two years to get their citizenship based on current processing times. And this is apparently a result of both an intentional slowdown in the processing of the cases by USCIS and the Department of Defense uh, deciding that they don't want people to get their citizenship through military service anymore. We're um, getting scattered reports that people in the military are imposing new requirements that aren't in the law on applicants for citizenship. I expect there'll be some more lawsuits coming out of that. What does this mean for those who came into the military through MAVNI? There are lots of people who are in the military already who came into the military through the MAVNI program, and they're going to be seeking help from experienced immigration lawyers. Um, they're going to be asking for help with their citizenship applications, and I hope everybody will volunteer to help them and try to get them citizenship as fast as possible. They are entitled to apply for citizenship. If they're in the reserves and they're waiting for training, they're entitled after one weekend of reserve duty. Um, there's also been an edict from the Department of Defense that all MAVNIs who fall out of lawful status must apply for deferred action with United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. This is new. Uh, it wasn't required previously. They were previously able to ship out to training and get their citizenship without applying for deferred action. But now they're being told that they must have deferred action if they want to go to their training. And so there's been a scramble by thousands of them to go out and try to apply for deferred action. Unfortunately, USCIS has been denying their deferred action applications. Um, some parts of the country, they approve them, but Atlanta recently, for example, has been denying, uh, Atlanta USCIS office has been denying applications for deferred action filed by the Mounties. This puts them between a rock and a hard place. If they can't get deferred action, they can't ship to their training and the Department of Defense and USCIS have been conspiring to delay their applications for citizenship. Um, so they're basically being forced by the agency to stay out of status and they can't go to their training. 
Uh, they're going to be seeking help from attorneys, and I expect there will be lawsuits in the future. Thanks, Margaret, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.